you know what, consumer habits, expectations and behaviour are always evolving. There's no doubt that the COVID-19 pandemic sped up a number of existing trends while ushering in changes that you know, really no one expected. You know, validating this point, a survey in late 2020 by McKinsey's found that roughly three in every four consumers had tried a brand new shopping method in the preceding 12 months. Now, as a case in point, consider American retail giant Macy's, who saw e-commerce sales increase from 25% to 43% in total revenue over the course of 2020. Now, more significantly, a staggering 70% of consumers who embraced these new ways of shopping intend to do so once the pandemic has finished. And this is significant. This is sustained behavior change. Now, in summing up the significance of this change, the team at McKinsey's put it this way. They said that COVID-19 caused 10 years of consumer behavior change to be condensed into just three months. And we could look at how this has played out in all sorts of industries, but one industry where we've really seen a rapid change in consumer behavior and expectations is in the area of purchasing cars, the automotive industry. Now, while online purchasing of, of cars has been slow to get traction over the last decade, the pandemic changed this very, very quickly. Now, a good example of this would be the online car sales company, Carvana. Now, if you haven't heard of them, it's worth checking them out. This, this disruptive new player allows customers to do a virtual inspection of vehicles online using 360 degree rendered images. Um, they can you know, inquire with someone online using video chat about the vehicle. They can apply for finance, do the entire transaction online without ever stepping onto a car lot and without actually ever physically trying that car or driving it. The car is then delivered to their home or to one of Carvana's you know, pretty cool car vending machines near the customer's home. You look at Carvana, their sales boomed during the pandemic as customers proved to themselves and to the industry more broadly that you can actually buy a vehicle online without driving it first. And that in fact, for many consumers, this is a viable option and it will likely be the way of the future. Now, as an indication of how seriously the auto industry is taking this trend, this change in consumer behavior, GM have now ramped up its Shop Click Drive program where customers can you know, get trade-in estimates, apply for finance and arrange for home delivery of new vehicles without ever stepping foot inside a dealership. This is a significant change. And you know, while this initiative was launched well before the pandemic, GM reported that sales increased 40% over the course of 2020 and almost 9 in 10 dealers had now implemented this program to supplement their traditional sales model, something they probably wouldn't have done prior to COVID-19. Now beyond e-commerce, another really significant trend that gathered pace throughout 2020 was that of augmented reality. The pandemic saw you know, players like IKEA, and they really led the way here, significantly ramp up their augmented reality technology as stores were forced to close around the world. In April 2020, for instance, IKEA released technology that enabled customers to scan their room at home using their smartphone, to remove the existing furniture from that room, and then essentially play dress ups with furniture that they're considering to purchase online. You can see from the video behind me, this is an amazing technology and it is a revolution in the way people will actually purchase furniture, not just in the midst of a pandemic when stores are closed, but moving forward. And we've seen other companies do the same sort of thing. For instance, the optical retailer Warby Parker implemented augmented reality technology in app, allowing customers to try on glasses from home because closed stores meant they couldn't do so in person. In the area of cosmetics, we also saw L'Oreal do the same thing um, with technology that enable customers to try on makeup without physically touching the product. Now, the reality is augmented reality is still a technology that is in its in infancy, but it's already having an effect. In fact, recent studies have found that 61% of US adults have reported that augmented reality has already influenced where they shopped and what they purchased on at least one occasion. Now, looking forward, the question comes back to, you know, what these changes will mean for consumer behavior in the long term. There are many people in the industry who are, who are weighing in commenting on this right now. You know, one insight which I thought was quite significant was from Stefan Larsen, who heads the fashion brands Calvin Klein and Tommy Hilfiger. And he suggests that COVID-19 has permanently changed shopper expectations and behaviors. He says that your consumers will not go back to shopping the way they did before the pandemic. You know, as far as he's concerned, they will go forward into the new normal, which is the, the term that we keep hearing. Now that said, it's important to recognize that many facets of human behavior have not changed and are unlikely to change anytime soon. Your humans will always be tactile and social by nature. So physical retailing is by no means dead. Now, 
as an indication of this, one study conducted in early 2021 found that while 60% of customers had embraced online shopping for the first time during the pandemic, less than 10% said they actually found the experience satisfying. That's a very significant number because that unsatisfied majority, 90% plus of consumers, you know, were and are itching to get back into stores. However, their expectations and behaviours when they go back into store will be different. COVID has changed them. Now, this is an opportunity or a threat, depending on how prepared you are to engage the COVID-conditioned consumer.